Hey there everyone, I'm Fox 10 News Meteorologist Jennifer Lambers with a look at your forecast and heading into today. Temperatures going to be staying above average, really expecting those upper 70s closer towards the coast, lower to mid 80s as you head further inland. Now timing things out on our future cast, staying dry and staying sunny heading into the entirety of today. We'll be feeling nice out there. We'll be seeing those nice conditions, but again, feeling more like the end of September rather than end of October. Now tracking the tropics, tropical depression 21 that's moving inland right now. Hurricane Tammy right now turning just on the north side of Puerto Rico, continuing on that northeasterly track and expected to weekend heading into the weekend, continuing just to stay a problem for the fish. Now here locally, we've been dealing with those above average temperatures and it's only going to continue to stay that way heading into the weekend. But taking a look in the upper atmosphere, high pressure right now influencing our forecast. But heading into next week, we start to see some changes attempt to dip down more of those light colorations, a cold blast attempting to make its way across really the whole US, influencing the Midwest to potentially see their first freeze of the year. And then we continue to see more of that continuing heading into midweek next week. So that will be reflective in the full 10 day outlook as we make our way into the week ahead of us. Lower to mid 80s continuing plenty of sunshine staying dry. And then next week is potentially where those changes come into play. Halloween right now still iffy on when that front will potentially push in. If it continues to push up on that timing, temperatures could potentially fall heading into Halloween night and then starting off for November 1st and the second upper 60s, lower 70s feeling nice but still nine to 10 days away. So make sure you're staying tuned to Fox 10. We hope that that cold air will reach us and bring in a nice cold blast to the Gulf Coast. We'll keep you updated right here on air and online on Fox 10.